click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about DIAC, its working principle and its various characteristics. So friends, we all already know about how a diode works. We know that diode allows the flow of electric current only through one direction and it opposes the electric current or voltage in the other direction. Now, similarly, let's talk about diac. Diac is nothing but the combination of two diodes. So let's draw the symbolic diagram of a diode. So friends, as I already mentioned earlier, diac is nothing but a combination of two diodes. So it looks like this. So friends, you all can see this symbolic diagram here. Let D1 is the first diode and D2 is the second diode. So this is how the diac is being constructed. Now, if you can see this symbol here, you all can see that during the positive half cycle, if an AC supply is given to the diac circuit, D1 will conduct and during the negative half cycle, D2 will conduct because during the positive half cycle, D1 is forward biased and during the negative half cycle, D2 is reverse biased and the negative half cycle will be getting conducted during positive half cycle, D1 conducts and during negative half cycle, D2 conducts. So now let's draw the circuit diagram which involves a diac. So friends, let's say this is a sine voltage source I am using to draw this circuit. Now friends, I have drawn a very simple circuit to make you understand how a diac works. Now Vs, let it be the sine voltage source, R be the load and D be the diac. Now the sine voltage source looks like this as we all know. Now friends, during the positive half cycle, the diac, because one diode here in the diac is forward biased, it will conduct. And during the negative half cycle, the other diode will be conducting. So friends, we all can get the circuit conducting during both the half cycles. Now friends, Let's talk about the VI characteristics of a diac, which is very important as the exam point of view. Now friends, let this be the voltage axis and this be the current axis. And let the first quadrant be the forward biased condition and the third quadrant be the reversed biased condition. Now friends, when we increase the voltage across the diode and the diode is forward biased, there will be a small leakage current across the diac. Now friends, when the voltage reaches the threshold voltage or when the voltage reaches the breakover voltage, suddenly the current rises. Similarly, during reverse bias condition, if we increase the negative voltage across the diode or the diac, the voltage or there will be a very less leakage current through the diac. Once the voltage reaches the negative breakover voltage, there will be a sudden reverse current. Now friends, if we all can see, this is the off From this point to a point P, which is called off state because there will be a small leakage current flowing through the circuit. But here, this is called the on state during positive half cycle. Again, this is again the off state. And this is on state during the negative half cycle. So friends, this is the VI characteristics of a diac. So friends, what is the advantage of a diac over a diode? So as we all could see from the VI characteristics and from the circuit diagram, a diode only allows the flow of current or 
the voltage in only one direction. Whenever you give a positive voltage to the diode, the current will flow in one direction. But once you reverse the supply, it will stop the flow of electric current. But in case of DIAC, this is not the case. DIAC allows the flow of electric current through multiple direction or through one direction and as well as the opposite direction. Thank you so much for watching this video friends. Please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you so much.